Vista comprehension is one of the nice features in Python. It helps us to create more readable and short code. The list comprehension doesn't solve a new programming problem. When we learn it about the if conditions, about the loops, we actually learn it about something important that can give us more tools to uh, solve our problems. List comprehension doesn't solve a new problem. It just allows us to make our code more readable, more nice code. The syntax is, less, is like following. We have something that we can iterate over it, like list or string. You can write something like for member in the list. And then you open here two uh, brackets and you do some expression. And the overall of this expression will be appended and returned in, a, in an object here. Let's see some examples. Here in this case, we have a, a list of four elements. The old syntax is as following. Let's say you would like to build a new list where every element is just i times i plus one. You can write something like four i in list one, list two dot append i times i plus one. And then list two result would be five, 10, 17, and two. For example, three times three is nine plus one is 10. Now the new syntax with list comprehension is as following. You write here a bracket open and bracket out here. And write four i in list one, exactly as this for loop. And then you put here before it the value i times i plus one, which is this value. And that's all. What Python is going to do is as following. It's going to make an iteration over this list with i, and then with every i, it will compute the value i times i plus one, and then append all of them in a list. So list two now is will be the same as this guy. So as you see here, we replaced three lines with a single line of code that is very readable. This is what we call list comprehension. Let's see more syntax with that. I'm here. Uh, this is the example that we learned. For example, I can write something like for n in range 5 and 9. And then uh, for every n, I am pushing in the list n plus 1. And then all of that is appended in a list for us here, list 3. Here is another example. We can write something like four character in hey, which will return for us three characters, the string h, the string e, and the string y. For every one of them, we'll multiply it with, with three, which will duplicate it three times. And all of them will be appended in the list. It will be h, 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 e, 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 y, y, y. Please, if you don't feel you are comfortable with the syntax or what I said, please stop the video, review it again, play with your code. If you got it, then let's keep going. In Python, we can also write some code that involve a condition. Let's say here we are writing something like, um, let's, let's find in a list all the positive numbers. We can write something like 4 over the list, then make a condition if n greater than 0, then we append it to the list. So now, how to handle this condition using a list comprehension? As following. After your for loop, put an if condition. This if condition is doing what we call filtration. So only if this if condition is achieved, the item will be evaluated here. For example, we will iterate on the uh, six elements, and then is one greater than zero? The answer is yes. So one will be evaluated here. Then is minus two greater than zero? The condition is false. N will not be evaluated here. So that what will be eventually appended in this list is exactly what is satisfying the condition here. So this is how we convert this code with a condition to this code here. Again, we call this condition filter because it allow us to filter elements from the list. That's all. Please practice well before moving to the next session.